Marvel fans, I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Agent M, and I am freaking hyped to be here today talking to the writers of Modoc Head Games, Pat Oswalt, Jordan Bloom. Gentlemen, how are you? Very Doing good. Well. Thanks for having us on, man. It's exciting, and you know, we're here to talk about everyone's special boy, everyone's favorite. Um, so as you can see, I like Modoc, and I think you guys do too. But why a Modoc comic book? We did the, the MODOK show for Hulu, and, and Jordan and the writers created such an amazing kind of world around MODOK that has never been seen in the comics. And we had so much creativity to burn that, that Jordan just said, we should fill this in in like a four-issue comic series kind of as a background. And I always loved that. To be able to have go even deeper into that world was like, oh, yeah, let's absolutely do this. We were so excited to 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 write the 616, you know, Marvel version. Obviously our character, our, ver our take of MODOK on the show is a little more satirical, a little more comedic. And I think we we left it the chance to to write the MODOK who had been there since, you know, Stanley and Jack Kirby since since the 1960s and kind of put our spin on him and, and also kind of pull from, from a lot of the other versions of MODOK from the past, I think. The character is very flexible, and I think you can do a lot with him. Were there things you were surprised about, whether it's something that you like find yourself enjoying about MODOK or discovering or getting into um, as you, you sort of build this out? Pat, what about you? It was interesting when we, especially when we built up his childhood and family relationships and, and looked at his origin story from a different angle, you sort of see that in a way he's on this kind of justified mission of vengeance. He's a tragic character. He's, he's built out of tragedy, you know? He was forced into this experiment and, and you know, they were gonna turn him into a computer and he, he rebelled and took over. And I think that's haunted him. And he knows that, you know, he's this monster and, and it plays into his, both his ego and his insecurities. So you guys have been writing MODOK Head Games, the comic book, at the same time you've been uh, working on Marvel's MODOK for Hulu. Is there going to be any sort of connection, any similarities, any plot, you know, points, things that might cross over between the two properties? We pulled, I'd say, big elements like Monica, Super Adaptoid, AIM. You know, I think they're, they're pillars in every version of, of MODOK that you have to use to, to kind of build your story. Iron Man has to show up. You know, well, you can't do a good MODOK story without Iron Man. Iron Man in a very interesting way. Okay, fellas, so how does it feel to be writing your very first Marvel comic and writing it together? It was really amazing to be with someone who has such deep, deep pull Marvel knowledge and could just live in the references, but he always ties it into a much deeper, like, human story, both comedically and tragically. You know, I grew up loving this format and to work in it has been been the greatest thrill ever and and to get to just play with Patton on this has been been an absolute joy if you could gain all of modok's powers and technology and all the cool bells and whistles that come with like the the being modok but you had to be modok and in, in the physical attributes would you take that chance would you go would you dive deep and do it i don't think so it doesn't it doesn't look it ultimately does not look fun to be modok and uh there's no way to spend a life floating around on a toilet <laughs> Jordan? I, i'm a pretty lazy guy uh so i consider it gentlemen thank you so much for chatting with me about modok head games also thank you for making the comic book modok head games with scott hepburn and the rest of the crew because it the first issue was great. The rest of it is going to be fantastic. I'm very excited for fans to check it out. Thank you, Ryan. Um, I hope we don't let you down. Yeah. But as MODOK lovers, we tried our best. So. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody out there watching, make sure you pick up MODOK Head Games number one, available everywhere this December. I'm Ryan, and this is Marvel, your universe.